as I've mentioned in the previous video, hazard reporting is at the core of SMS Pro. Hazard reporting concept is very simple, but SMS Pro approaches it from several different angles, making the user experience a lot more pleasant and scalable. Some hazard reports require a lot more detail than others, but SMS Pro reporting a hazard can take anywhere from 15 seconds to 4 minutes. SMS Pro provides many hazard reporting options. SMS Pro Offline is by far the fastest and provides the best user experience. It's perfect for busy users reporting issues on the go. SMS Pro Offline does not require internet connection at the time of the report. While you're offline, all the reported hazards are queued up and will be reported at once when internet connection becomes available. SMS Pro Offline can be installed on any PC, laptop or handheld device. Once you run it, you'll be presented with a login screen. Use your SMS Pro credentials to log in. You can remember your login if this is your personal computer. If you remember your login credentials, you will skip this step next time you run the program. After the login, you'll be presented with the following screen. Here you can select a type of issue, specify the title, description and the corrective actions. After you fill out the form, click Submit to SMS Pro button and you're done. SMS Pro Offline is very lightweight and makes a perfect tool for companies with slower internet connection. Issue Reporting Wizard features the custom issue reporting forms based on the type of issues being reported. This is a sample bird strike reporting form. This form allows you to specify as much details as possible about the event. A more detailed video about issue reporting wizard is available on the SMS Pro demo page. When the issue is reported, the reporter gets an email notification with a link to the issue. This allows the reporter to monitor the progress of the issue resolution. SMS Pro easily closes the feedback loop which is one of the most important features of any SMS implementation. Safety Manager also gets an email notifying him about the new issue, with a link to that issue. The link in the email takes the Safety Manager into the Details tab of the Issue Manager module. The Details tab is also visible to the reporting user and contains the condensed information about the issue. Safety Manager will manage the issues from left to right, starting with the Assess tab and going into classification. First thing Safety Manager will do in the Assess tab is assess the initial risk with the fully customizable risk matrix. The check mark in the Assess tab signifies the initial risk assessment. That assessment is also displayed in the header. Next thing you should do is to assign the issue to the department head. Select the department head from the drop-down and assign the issue. Safety Manager can also classify the issue using the drag-and-drop technology. All of these classification schemes are fully customizable. The check mark on the Classify tab signifies that the issue has been classified. At this point, Safety Manager can assess the cost of the issue, manage attachments, or perform, an, perform the in-depth investigation. Department head that was assigned to the issue uses the Manage tab to delegate the corrective actions to the users. Safety Manager will get notified by email when all the corrective actions are completed. At this point, Safety Manager will, will perform the closing risk assessment on the issue and close the issue. Double check mark on the Assess tab means that both initial and residual risk assessments were done. Detailed video about the Issue Manager module is available on the SMS Pro demo page. In the next video, I will review the IKEA SMS implementation phases and how SMS Pro helps you to implement a full-featured SMS in your organization. Thank you.